like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars the attack in this end time by the gates of hell is not just over the health of people satan is beginning to get desperate as he sees the time wrapping he's looking for voices voices potential voices and voices that are currently in the plan of god and as we'll be teaching later on there are many many ways and angles that he's coming in with all to silence your voice the bible says that they bound this man and locked him in a prison why so that his voice would no longer be heard upon the mountain of israel so all the destinies connected to that voice now will become victims of the captivity of one person so when i tell you that satan he will attack anybody but there are specific people that he's looking for in this end time and if you came for this conference it is not just because you saw a publicity material i tell you it's a solemn assembly from the realm of the spirit it's a summoning to come and learn the ways of god so that your voice will remain relevant announcing the purposes of the kingdom the bible says do not be ignorant of his devices satan has devices there are ways that he will silence the voice of many history is full of men and women whose voices were silenced because they did not understand the writings of the world to know how to keep their voices relevant this is my simple charge for us this afternoon and we are going to pray and cry unto the lord that he will grant us the privilege of having our voices remaining relevant on the mountain of israel that nothing and no one will be able to bind you like that man in gadaria the bible says the man lived in caves and he was bound hand in chain notice every time they caught the apostles they bound them and they kept them in prisons why so that they would not preach in that name again there was something about their voice and the preaching of the name it was causing people to come to salvation and repentance within the land can i tell you this instead of satan attacking one million people 500 people he will find out who do those 500 people listen to so if if god announces that he's bringing new mantle upon you that's not the time to dance and brag that is the time to return and say lord teach me because if you are elijah jezebel is coming mm. there are many of you because of the mantles and the things that god wants to do in your life there are higher levels of separation and consecration to the point that god will give you rules that does not make sense it is not for everybody it's his way of protecting what is on you and many times because we do not have discernment lord why is my life like this why do you inconvenience me this much and god is saying you are carrying through your voice the destiny of nations and there will be requirements can i tell you this in the realm of the spirit the proof of maturity is dependence if you are independent you are a child in the spirit john 21 it says when thou art young you are allowed to go wherever you want to go but when you become matured one will hold you so many of you have come here i believe god put this burden in the heart of his servant to call for a solemn assembly do you know why because there are many people young people especially who love god you know many times when i see a generation of young people with their passion i am touched by the passion but i'm also afraid of the ignorance passion and ignorance is risky because then what if i am thirsty anything that looks like water i will drink it
we need to be able to lay off superstar christianity and apostle joshua selman and all of this nonsense and focus on helping a generation preserve this spiritual heritage of revealing christ you will be learning that one of the ways that satan binds men and shuts their voices is using this subtle evil of complacency why do i need to preach again when my voice is everywhere why do i need to fast again when i can lay hands on anyone and you stand up from the wheelchair let me tell you what happens one of the ways that satan can destroy you is to create an avalanche of commendation over your grace you can be commended to an extent that your voice becomes silent because there is something about the human spirit under the influence of applause and commendation there is commendation is like salt in the food if you put a handful of salt in food you have ruined the whole thing but salt is needed so there is a way that satan begins to raise people in the name of loyalty they will sing your praises to a point where fasting becomes unnecessary the things that you did that brought you there you no longer will have the the, the press for it again why should i pray eight hours why should i pray two hours why should i do what i was doing in the house of god and satan helps you by orchestrating men who can keep singing your praises until the praises become louder than the voice of God. Those of us that God is helping, listen to me carefully. I know some of you admire us and you clap and once we are coming in all the protocol that escort us, those are just little, little conveniences to show honor. Do not get caught up with some of those deceptions if that is your idea of ministry and that is what you are building yourself into then casualty will be waiting for you thank god for the honor thank god for all of these things that we receive but can i tell you this complacency satan can participate in singing your praise there is something about the human spirit when you are appreciated and that is true that is wonderful but satan knows what over celebration can do to a human spirit it is not only when he attacks you with evil that he destroys you satan is not stupid he has an advantage of age he has studied this humanoid species of mankind he knows our vulnerability and he knows that when i am suffering chances are that i will be close to god when i'm trying to grow a church when i'm trying to grow my influence chances are that i will pay attention in keeping to the things that make for greatness but when you get to a point where all the institutions of men are located for accreditation now vet you and accredit that you are a man approved of god there is no more point to be proved the tv stations have accredited that god has called you all the award institutions have accredited that god has called you the ministry results have accredited that god has called you so now what is left if it's branches you have it if it's money you have it if it's miracles you have it if it's a good sermon you have it what is left that is why the beginning of a believer's journey must maintain the formula and the protocol used in scripture in the beginning god in the beginning god and at the end of everything it is still god i can tell you that many of us right now are sincere satan has tried the formula of backsliding and it doesn't seem to be as effective again because there are many people who are generally waking the body of christ up to the fact that look it pays to be fervent with god so satan has changed his strategy this message you see i saw it in a vision the reason why i would not say i saw it in a vision is because i want your understanding to be grounded on doctrine not a man's experience are, are we together now i saw that this thing the deception of manipulating the human spirit by giving you a sense of applause a sense of arrival and it now leads to complacency whether i pray or not you will not know all you know is the apostle joshua selman you love who you listen to 
but it is me and God that knows the current reality of our relationship I can bask in the applause of people whereas at that point with God your voice is going down someone rise up on your feet we're going to pray for two minutes or, or five minutes listen this prayer no moving around I like you to pray from the depth of your heart mean business with God you came for a conference a time where you will search your heart the first prayer I know that you have prayed and prayed but I want us to pray the prayer of the psalmist he said try my heart search my heart try it if there is any wicked way in me lead me to the way everlasting lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and pray Abelkuta Shalike paranda skata breka de kete bala daba ke parakata bagado skata prende skate lekata shana kete barando skoto braske di bala dash kete prende kete katos kate lekatos kali bahasari ada are you praying shana kete bala kete ke prans kate le bakatos kate prende kele babia. prayer warriors pray the vessels that will be used in this city pray 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 it is beyond impartation it is beyond listening to messages there are forces assigned to mantles there are forces assigned to destinies with a primary assignment of ensuring that your voice is no longer heard at the mountain of Israel.